I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to beat all the records seen on the mainland. Jason Surratt is one of only four people who wrote out Hurricane Fiona on Nova Scotia's remote Sable Island. The houses creaked and groaned quite a bit. There was some bangs from loose siding. Very little sleep out here. However, the safety of all the staff was never in jeopardy. A protocol was initiated that no one was allowed outside under any circumstance and to stay away from windows. We lost a considerable amount of siding and we have roofing damage. And uh, we're assessing that now and Parks Canada senior managers are helping us develop a plan to do some repairs. There are hundreds of wild horses on the island. How did they fare? The storm hit overnight, so it was hard to take a look, but I suspect that they, like they traditionally do, they find a nice calm spot in the dunes. And by midday Saturday, they were out grazing per usual, almost as if nothing happened. There are weather instruments on the island, but it will take some time to access the information. At this point in time, we don't know what our maximum wind speed is. We do have instruments on the island and we have computers here that have that data. However, because of our satellite dishes uh, being put a little bit off of alignment, uh, we don't have access to that information yet.